गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स राइट यूर नेम एंड सीट नंबर इन द चैट बॉक्स आई होप यू आर डेली डू द रिविजन ऑफ द टॉट पार्ट एज दिस इज अ फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री पार्ट मेनी डेरिवेशन आर देर न्यूमरिकल्स विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर for 2 minutes uh, i will unmute all wait chaitanya is there chaitanya <laughs> hello yes 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 it is audible all the students purchase the chemistry practical books or notebooks or not all the students are requested to purchase please uh, uh, go through the market and purchase new practical book because i think in the month of october uh, the college will start as per my information got from the government but it is not confirmed but tentatively in the month of october your college uh, will be started and uh, practicals we have to conduct the practicals within uh, one month so before starting the practicals you should be ready for your practical book and some activities also we will conduct at your home one activity already i told you to complete uh, i think seven uh, seven or eight students called me sir how to perform this activity what about the others so other students complete that activity of ric code that is the resin uh, identification code activity uh, we can perform at your home we can only we have to see the plastic articles which are at your home Uh, it may be uh, toothpaste uh, pouch it may be shampoo pouch or uh, uh, drinking water bottle then um, wrappers of the uh, products so that ric code is printed there we have to check the ric code and only we have to write uh, in your practical book so we will start now we are coming back to our syllabus this is a eight uh, marks uh, sorry what is the weightage of this chapter let me check yes anyone having the chart of that uh, weightage i think it is six marks or eight marks six marks weightage four six i think so it is a very small chapter as compared to the other chapters yes we will start so this is a boiling point elevation uh, the definition of boiling point it is already learned you know the definition of boiling point in our school days uh, i think in uh, 10th standard and 11th standard also in uh, the syllabus of 11th standard this definition is there what is mean by boiling point and what is mean by melting point so this boiling point definition is again given uh, here the boiling point means it is a a temperature boiling point is always we are uh, taking the boiling point of a liquid so boiling point of a liquid is a temperature at which vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor pressure of the atmospheric pressure is same means vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure that's why in the bracket it is written vp vp is a vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to atmospheric pressure means when both the pressures become same uh, the liquid will starts boiling remember so for the boiling point uh, in chemistry don't give the definition like this uh, the boiling point is the temperature at which uh, the liquid boils this definition is uh, not expected from the 12th standard students because they know the concept of vapor pressure 
they know the concept of atmospheric pressure so in terms of vapor pressure we have to write the definition of this boiling point so boiling point is nothing but the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure when the both the pressures become same the liquid will starts boiling so uh, in this the boiling point elevation elevation means the increase in boiling point so why the boiling point is increased we will discuss uh, before this we know when the non volatile solute is added in the pure solvent its vapor pressure decreases so what is vapor pressure and what is pure solvent and why the vapor pressure is lowered this lowering of vapor pressure and then relative lowering of vapor pressure this this is uh, this part is already explained in uh, last uh, lecture so vapor pressure it is nothing but the pressure of the vapors on the surface of the liquid and why this vapor pressure of a solvent is more because it is pure solvent pure solvent means completely it will be operated and if the container is closed its vapor pressure will be more than the vapor pressure of the solution in which non volatile solute is added because this non volatile solute always disturbs for your operation uh, so that's why the vapor pressure of the uh, solution containing non volatile solute is less these two, uh, same concepts we have to apply here it has been found that boiling point of a uh, solvent is uh, elevated means when non volatile solute is added see when non volatile solute is added into the solvent this boiling point will be increased so in the bold type it is written the solutions containing non volatile solutes boils at temperature higher than the boiling point of a pure solvent i want to give one example here if we take water all of you know water the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius at water boils at 100 degree celsius means at that point vapor pressure of the water is equal to the atmospheric pressure this concept should be clear and if non volatile solute is added in water uh, means if some dust particles or some sand particles are added in water what will happen it its boiling point will be increased see means pure water will be boil at 100 degree celsius and when mud particles or any sand particles are added in water its boiling point will be increased it will be 105 degrees or it it will be boil at 110 degrees depend upon the non volatile solute added so here t not b t stands for temperature t not b this is a boiling point of the pure solvent remember so t not b it is the boiling point of pure solvent and tb it is the boiling point of the solution in which non volatile solute is added and according to the vapor pressure concept tb is always greater than t not b means the boiling point temperature of the solution the solution means in which non volatile solute is added remember so tb is the temperature in which uh, non volatile solute is added and t not b this is a boiling point temperature of the pure solvent so this difference between uh, these uh, temperatures it is all called as boiling point elevation and this difference is shown with delta tb so delta tb is called as boiling point elevation it is the uh, difference in uh, the boiling point of the solution containing non volatile solute and t not b is the temperature of pure solvent means it is the boiling point of pure solvent and this is the boiling point of the solution b stands for boiling point remember so this equation number 2.12 is called as boiling point elevation equation and if it is asked for a definition uh, from this equation we can write the definition uh, the difference the difference between boiling point of a solution and that of the pure solvent at any given uh, constant pressure is called as boiling point of elevation so delta tb it is boiling point elevation now the next point is uh, experimentally we will uh, explain this boiling point elevation as a consequences of vapor pressure lowering so uh, from this diagram i will explain how this vapor pressure and temperature this is a 
see this is a graph of vapor pressure mm, this is a y axis uh, vapor pressure is given and this is a uh, green colored line we can see clearly this is one atmosphere or 1.013 bar or it is a 760 mm so at this point uh, the vapor pressure is uh, one atmosphere and this is the x axis temperature is given you know as the temperature increases the vapor pressure also increases so at this point there are two curves we can see here there, there is a boiling point of a solvent curve and this is a boiling boiling point of a solution the boiling point of a solution is below than the boiling point of a solvent now we will see uh, we will start from this zero temperature 0 10 then um, uh, suppose we will take the uh, boiling point of a water here so at this temperature what will happen at this temperature c uh, t not v c this is a t not v temperature at this point uh, the pure solvent will starts boiling see because the temperature uh, the sorry vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure so uh, as the temperature increases uh, it will be the vapor pressure also increases 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 at this point at this point vapor pressure of the water is equal to the atmospheric pressure remember so at this point the liquid the water will starts boiling remember at this point because the vapor pressures will be same vapor pressure of the water is equal to the atmospheric pressure so this temperature is called as t not v t not v is the boiling point of the solvent and you know this is a solution which is a uh, impure solution because non volatile solute is added uh, if the water containing some mud particles what will happen this temperature means we have to heat the water uh, to the higher temperature because its vapor pressure is low so it's is ka vapor pressure atmospheric uh, pressure tak aane ke liye we have to heat more so the boiling point will be more remember i am explaining why the boiling point of a solution is greater than the boiling point of a solvent because as the solution contains non volatile solute or impurities are there its vapor pressure is already less so vapor pressure atmospheric pressure tak aane ke liye we have to heat more so this this gap this gap of delta a tb is called as elevation in boiling point it is nothing but the difference between tb and t not b so i think you understand why the temperature is more required because of the vapor pressure so by this curve we can uh, understand why the boiling point of a solution is more than the boiling point of a pure solvent Bo boiling point of a solvent will be less because uh, because of its vapor pressure and uh, boiling because its vapor pressure is uh, very high than the vapor pressure of the solution solution having the less vapor pressure so vapor pressure is related to air boiling point i think uh, this part is um, uh, you understand this part so this explanation is given here uh, just i explain this why the boiling point say uh, such type of questions will be asked for the examination why the boiling point of a solution is higher than the pure solvent so the main reason is the vapor pressure is responsible for this vapor pressure of a solution containing non volatile solute is less so uh, vapor pressure atmospheric pressure say equal hone ke liye we have to heat more so this is in a simple one sentence we can write in other words uh, it is written in bold type c here in other words the solution must be heated to the higher temperature to cause uh, it to boil than the pure solvent because the vapor pressure is less vapor pressure of the solution is less than the vapor pressure of the in detail it is given here uh, but uh, in detail it is not expected now, what you understand we can write at the examination so uh, next part is boiling point of elevation and the concentration of a solute you know uh, this is a delta tb the boiling point elevation is directly proportional to the molality now uh, uh, 
this is a not molarity molality molarity and molality concept is explained in 11th standard this is a uh, concentration we can measure in molality uh, the number of moles dissolved in 1 kg of solvent this is called as molality and molarity means number of moles dissolved in a 1 liter of solvent this is molarity molarity and molality is different but this delta t b is directly proportional to m means this is a delta t b you know this is elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to m where m is molality of the solution if this equation can be written like this delta t b is equal to k b into m where k b is the boiling point elevation constant it is also called as ebullioscopic constant it is called as molar elevation constant remember this is as for board exam this is as for board exam remember what is the unit of this kb and kb is called what so kb there are three different names for this kb kb is called as boiling point elevation constant it is also called as molar elevation constant it is also called as ebullioscopic constant so if pm is equal to 1 uh, moles per kg i just explain molality means it is a unit of measuring the concentration of the solution number of moles dissolved in 1 kg that's why molality is moles per kg remember if uh, m is equal to 1 then this equation delta tb is equal to kb but when this delta tb is equal to kb because uh, when we consider uh, this um, molality is equal to 1 so what is the units of kb uh, from this equation c delta tb is equal to kb into m so this uh, kb is equal to delta tb divided by m we can uh, shift this m to this side so kb is equal to delta tb divided by m it is written here see kb is equal to delta tb divided by m so what is the unit of this delta kb it is kelvin because it is temperature we can take this is the celsius also uh, but i am taking the si units so the temperature is kelvin and what is the unit of molality moles per kg so the entire unit of kb will be kelvin kilogram per mole so this is as for one mark remember what is the unit of kb we can write from this expression usko ratta mark ke padhne ki kuch zarurat nahi hai just remember this uh just remember this uh, equation we can write the units kb is equal to delta tb divided by m then uh, one important uh, note is given here why the concentration is expressed in uh, molality and not molarity so the basic difference of this molality and molarity i will explain uh, we are dealing with the systems whose temperature is not constant see means the boiling point of a different uh, different solvents it is a different so always we are dealing with the temperature which is not constant therefore we cannot express the concentration of the solution in terms of molarity because molarity always uh, uh, molality is temperature independent but molarity is depend upon the temperature because volume is related there molarity what is the definition of molarity i will explain molarity is number of moles dissolved in 1 uh, liter so the molarity can be changed when the temperature is changed but the molality cannot be changed remember so this molality is a temperature independent quantity remember this is a temperature independent quantity that's why we are expressing this um, uh, concentration with respect to molality and not respect to molarity remember because molarity changes with temperature and molality do not changes with temperature so we are expressing the concentration in moles per kg not in moles per liter remember so this can be as for one mark why the concentration uh, is are expressed in molality don't uh, neglect this thing because this is uh, important for one mark then a uh, next derivation is molar mass of a solute from boiling point elevation you know this uh, this is a 
elevation in boiling point is equal to kb into m uh, this is a uh, this equation i have taken equation number 2.13 here suppose we prepare the solution solution is prepared by dissolving w2 grams of solute w2 this is the mass of the solute remember and w1 grams of solvent w1 it is the mass of the solvent so moles of solute moles means nothing but mass upon molar mass so w2 is the mass of the solute m2 is the molar mass of the solute so w2 upon m2 this is number of moles of solute then mass of solvent i am coming to the mass of solvent it is uh, uh, taken in uh, because molarity we are considering with the molarity so w1 it is uh, taken in grams 1000 grams or 1 kg so w1 grams uh, upon 1000 kg is equal to w1 upon 1000 it can be taken in grams or kilograms so the molarity just uh, i explained in the previous slide also molarity is nothing but uh, moles of solute divided by the mass of the solvent in kg so moles of solute uh, it is uh, written here w2 m2 w2 m2 this is a moles of solute divided by w1 divided by 1000 kg by rearranging this equation uh, we get 1000 this by rearranging this equation we are getting 1000 w2 divided by m2 w1 and the unit is moles per kg so this value of this molarity we are uh, putting in this equation in the in this equation so delta tb as it is kb as it is and this value of m we are substituting in this equation so the same value 1000 w2 1000 w2 divided by m2 w1 Uh, so m2 we are uh, uh, m2 is equal to so if this m2 is below means uh, by rearranging this equation we are getting 1000 uh, kb 1000 K kb uh, we have to multiply this 1000 kb w2 divided by delta t b w1 this expression is uh, asked for two marks means the question will be asked for the board examination derive the relation between the molar mass of the solute and boiling point elevation remember this question will be asked for two marks and the clear cut question there will be no any uh, change in question pattern question will be same as it is derive the relation between molar mass of a solute and boiling point elevation so this question many times ask for two marks for the board examination remember make a practice at your home this is not uh, very difficult this is uh, only th two two three steps are there uh, we can derive this equation so i am not taking this uh, numericals because already these numericals are solved numericals we can solve at your home just i want to complete this depression in freezing point so this is the second third colligative property first colligative property is lowering of vapor pressure second colligative property is um, boiling point elevation and this is the third colligative property this is the third colligative property depression in freezing point depression means uh, there is a decrease in freezing point remember so before the depression part we must know what is freezing point boiling point and freezing point these are completely different once again i am explaining boiling point means it is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure but in this freezing point the vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor pressure of the solids are same this is a one change in between boiling point and freezing point definition so freezing point of a liquid is a temperature at which liquid and solids are in equilibrium and the vapor pressures are also same vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor pressure of the solid is at equilibrium means the vapor pressures are same when vapor pressure of a liquid and vapor pressure of a solid is same then the uh, liquid will freeze and when the liquid will boil when vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure the liquid will starts boiling and when vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor pressure of the solid is same the liquid will freeze remember this uh, difference so 
uh, if the again we are taking the freezing point of the pure uh, solvent and solution containing non volatile solute uh, so experimental observations found that the freezing point of the solution which containing non volatile solute is lowered see freezing point of the solution containing non volatile solute is lower than that of the pure solvent means solution containing non volatile solute will freeze first and then the uh, pure solvent will freeze here uh, this is the same as uh, boiling point elevation t not f t not f it is the freezing point of pure solvent t f it is the um, boiling point of the solution containing non volatile solute so this is the same as boiling point elevation but only one change is there in case of elevation in boiling point the boiling point of the solution containing non volatile solute is more here the freezing point of the solution containing non volatile solute is less than the pure solvent just compare the boiling point elevation and uh, depression in freezing point we uh, we will understand uh, what is the difference so here t not f it is the freezing point t not f is more than tf so t not f this temperature this is the uh, freezing point of pure solvent it is more than tf and the difference is called as depression in freezing point it is denoted with delta tf same like delta tb delta tb is it is the elevation in boiling point and delta tf it is the depression in freezing point so delta tf is equal to t not f minus tf always uh, we have to uh, higher temperature say lower temperature minus karna hai so t not f it is higher temperature uh, this is a freezing point of pure solvent and tf it is the freezing point of solution containing non volatile solute then graphically also uh, just i explain the boiling point elevation also i will explain this uh, a freezing point depression again we are uh, considering the graph of vapor pressure to the y axis and this is the temperature to the x axis i will explain uh, with this one so uh, you know vapor pressure uh, increases when the temperature will be increases now the definition is uh, freezing point is uh, different here in this diagram we can see clearly there are three curves uh, ac curve the ac curve is a frozen solvent this is a frozen solvent uh, this two curves bd and ef these are the same curves like uh, boiling point so this is a liquid solvent it is upper side because you know the vapor pressure of the pure pure solvent is always higher than the this is the solution containing non volatile solute so this uh, this curve ef ef curve is the vapor pressure curve of solution containing non volatile solute and this is a uh, cd curve see c cd cd curve is the pure pure liquid or pure solvent curve this is a cd curve and this ab curve is newly added curve because uh, this is a frozen solvent this is a frozen solvent means uh, uh, if this uh, bd and ef Uh, these are when the temperature is lowered we will get the frozen solvent this is a frozen solvent curve now so ab curve is the solid solvent curve cd is the pure liquid and ef is the solution containing non volatile solute so i will explain what at this point what will happen uh, first i will explain at this point t t not f or any i i can explain uh, see uh, this point e we can uh, see clearly this ef and uh, ab so ab it is the frozen solvent frozen solvent at this point e what is happening the vapor pressure of the solution and vapor pressure of the solid so according to the definition of freezing point constant vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor pressure of the solid is same and it is called as freezing point so this is this temperature at this point of intersection e e point is the freezing point of the 
solution containing non volatile solute so it is written here tf we can clearly see tf is written here so at this point e what is happening this vapor pressure ef and the vapor pressure of this is same so we can see this line uh, this uh, green colored line we can see at this uh, intersection both the vapor pressures are same same as at this point b at this point b what will happen uh, this is a liquid solvent uh, see and this is a frozen solvent at this point b uh, vapor pressure of this uh, solvent and vapor pressure of the frozen solvent mean it is solid it is when frozen solvent it is solid so vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor pressure of the solid it will be same at this point so this delta t not f is more and uh, this uh, sorry t not f is more than tf see uh, solution containing non volatile solute its uh, freezing point means its temperature is lowered freezing point is less so by this uh, graph we can clearly understand uh, t not f is a higher temperature and uh, tf is lower temperature this gap this gap is called as uh, depression in freezing point so in boiling point uh, solution having the more temperature but in case of freezing point the solution containing non volatile solute it is having the less temperature so this is a difference don't get confused at the time of board exam uh, in case of freezing point there are three curves and in case of boiling point there are only two curves so from this uh, diagram from this diagram it is clearly seen freezing point of a solution tf is lower see this tf is freezing point of the solution containing non volatile solute it is lower than lower than pure solvent t not f t not f this is the temperature of solution uh, sorry uh, t not f it is the freezing point of pure solvent so this uh, explanation can be asked for three marks for the board examination explain uh, graphically the freezing point depression uh, equation or uh, boiling point equation graphically so we have to draw the graphs of vapor pressure and temperature so make a practice at your home if you understand uh, these curves then it is a uh, very easy to understand but you should understand this uh, why at this point what is happening at this point what is happening concept should be clear vapor pressure of the solid and vapor pressure of the liquid is same at these two points point b this is a point of intersection and point e is also the point of intersection uh, this is a uh, actually the solid the curve ab is the solid curve cd is the solvent ef is the solution uh, you know what is why there is a difference between vapor pressure because non volatile solute is added in this solution and uh, if the non volatile solute is added you know vapor pressure is always less because surface area is not completely available for your operation uh, same uh, uh, reason is given here why the freezing point why the freezing point of a solution is lower than that of pure solvent it is related to the vapor pressure i will not explain this again so this freezing point depression and concentration of the solute it is same as boiling point so in the previous expression delta t is directly proportional to m but here we are you know, taking delta tf is depression in freezing point is m again there is a m is molality so this is a kf now this kb instead of kb there is kf this kf is called as freezing point depression constant and it is also called as cryoscopic constant kb is called as ebullioscopic constant but this kf is called as cryoscopic constant don't make don't make confusion between these two constant because these two constants are different for uh, boiling point is different and freezing point is different so the units are also the same as the expression is same units are also same this is a kelvin uh, uh, kilogram per mole so this is the unit of uh, kf the units of kb and the units of kf are same kelvin kilogram per mole because we are expressing the concentration in terms of 
molality not molarity and why molality because this is temperature this temperature independent quantity and molarity is temperature dependent quantity so that's why we are expressing the concentration in terms of molality not in terms of molarity this is not uh, given in your textbook but examiner can be asked for the board exam why the concentration is explained um, in molality and not in molarity so this is again same relation there is molar mass of a solute and freezing point depression uh, here is a uh, i already explained this m2 is equal to 1000 kf into w2 and delta tf into this is the same expression like this one see i will show this one so in this uh, m2 is equal to 1000 kb into w2 instead of this kb uh, there is a kf and instead of delta tb there is a delta tf otherwise this m2 and this m2 is exactly same you can see this m2 is same so if you understand the previous uh, equation we can uh, it is not expected to solve this equation but numericals will be asked on it this is a, a relation between molar mass of a solute and uh, depression in freezing point and that relation was molar mass of a solute and elevation in boiling point so i request uh, all the derivations prepare one chart of the, all the derivations and um, paste there in front of you where we are uh, studying so these are the uh, numericals based on this equation m2 so we can solve these numericals at your home now i will explain this osmotic uh, pressure for the osmotic pressure uh, we must know the semi permeable membrane uh, i will uh, explain this one and i will stop here what is mean by semi permeable membrane and what is mean by this osmosis i will explain these two concepts and i will stop here tomorrow uh, as there is a ganesh chaturthi there will be no any extra lecture but on sunday we will conduct the regular lectures at a regular timing 23 august the lectures will be at regular timing 8 15 and 9 30 uh, we will complete uh, one part is only remaining what is mean by osmotic pressure is remaining so on sunday i will complete this chapter and i will start the chapter number uh, seven uh, that is uh, elements of group 16 17 and 18 i will start because many part is already completed in the standard what is atomic size and electronegativity so this is inorganic chemistry chapter i will start no any numerical will be there uh, no reactions mechanisms are there so it is explanation part only explanation part so it is a very easy to understand also so so semi permeable membrane i will explain uh, this semi permeable membrane it is also called as molecular filter a molecular filter the name itself suggests it uh, filters the molecules so semi permeable membrane is what it is a thin film such as a cellophane or a pig's bladder which allows the flow of uh, flow of solvent molecules but do not allows the flow flow of uh, solute molecules remember it only allows the flow of solvent molecules but do not allows the flow of solute molecules such membrane is called as semi permeable membrane uh, so as the time is completed uh, i will stop here have a nice day